Yeah. No, fire truck. Oh no, the dragon. Can you say hello? Hi. Say hello. Hello. Here, come here. Say hello. 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 Yeah. Yay. Uh oh. Can you say bye bye? Bye. 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 <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're back on my third free-to-play account, level 10 inside of Legendary Arena. We're gonna be doing some trophy pushing today in Clash Royale, guys, using this deck right here, a P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard deck. One of my best P.E.K.K.A. decks on this account right now, guys. We have P.E.K.K.A. Graveyard, uh, Night Witch and Skarmory for a bit of bait action, and then we have the Baby Dragon for splash damage, and the Archers for air defense and range support. Overall, fairly solid deck in this account, guys, doing pretty well for me right now. We also made a few upgrades earlier on today. Once again, guys and girls, if you want to support me, feel free to throw in creative code Shane into the bottom of the shop before buying past real or special offers or gems, costing nothing extra, and it's a great way to help support the channel and help support me. So thank you if you do choose to use code Shane in your shop. But let's go ahead, guys and girls, jump into our first battle over here. See how we can do uh, in Legendary Arena on my... This is my third account, guys. This is a free-to-play account. I've had this account for about four years now in Clash Royale. And, uh, basically, I, I don't really play it too much. I haven't pushed this account, uh, I think in two months or so. But usually I just play it for the special event challenges. I'll hop on, do the challenge, get the rewards, and then I don't really spend it too much. I kind of just spend everything on one deck. I think he was trying to snipe my tower with that magic archer. Not too sure. But it didn't really work the way he wanted it to, I'm assuming. I'm going to use my Night Witch right here. The reason I use the Night Witch is just a, a little bit of a tip for you guys. If you're countering the Bandit with a ground unit, use the ground unit a bit further away, like right there, once she crosses the bridge. Because what it does is you'll use your, use your unit basically close enough that she doesn't dash, but also far enough away to the point that she, um, she doesn't hit them immediately, right? Like, if you use a melee unit directly on top of her, most units have, like, a one-second deploy timer. So if you use a melee unit directly on top of her, she'll attack them immediately and get a bit more damage done before they can attack back. But if you use it, um... If you use your unit a bit further away, like right here, she won't dash, but she'll also won't hit your unit immediately. Basically just saves your melee unit, like, one extra bandit attack. Which could be the difference between counter pushing and hitting or counter pushing and dying if that makes sense so we're doing okay here Pekka gets two shots to his tower one more please oh Pekka's a beast Pekka's a beastie girl so we're gonna go archers back here the reason I threw archers on my deck is I needed range support and the issue with the musketeer she's one of the best range supportive cards in the game right now he's a bit too early with his uh, uh, log there guys pro tip if you are doing a uh, predictive log then it's best to drop your unit and then wait a half second before logging. Make your opponent think that you're not logging and then go log. Right, he went log immediately, which is way too early because I didn't even have time to go uh, scar, me, or scar me yet. But anyways, uh, Musketeer, one of the best range support cards in the game right now. But the issue with her is she's level dependent and she dies to an overleveled fireball in one shot, which is game breaking. Um... Makes the card virtually useless if she dies to Fireball in one shot. So basically, I threw the Archers in there with the assumption that, like, they're going to die to Fireball anyway, so might as well cost one less Elixir. And then, yeah. Basically, a cheaper alternative to Musketeer and more free-to-play player-friendly. Because uh, I could use, the, use my common tokens for it, I guess, if that makes sense. Anyways, good game. Well played, Ronin. Um, yeah. I don't know what to say. Good luck. Next time. Don't use e-barbs. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Alrighty, guys. So jumping into our battle here against our dear friend Francisco. Uh, level 12. This is the funny thing. I just did two battles against level 9s. And uh, I'm not going to include it in the video because they were under-leveled. But, like, it's it's like you're walking through a minefield, I feel like. You know? If that makes sense. Like, you're walking through a minefield uh, in this game on ladder. Because it's like... A normal battle, normal battle, normal battle, and then all of a sudden it's like, kaboom, they got level 13 cards. Like this guy. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, it's, it's like normal battle, normal battle. Yeah, look at this. Level 13 balloon. Destroys my face. Tower's dead, just like that. One push. It can't defend the balloon because it, it, it's, it's, it's too high. Just like that, guys. Tower's dead. But it's like literally like going through a minefield. I've had, I've, I've had one battle where I was level 9. Or not level 9, sorry. I faced level 9 and they had like level 8 cards. And then all of a sudden, the very next battle, the guy was level, uh... My Night Witch died? In one hit? Is that even possible? What in the world, bro? Anyways, as I was saying, I'm dead. I'm dead. I've had one battle where I'm level 9. and Or facing level 9, sorry. And, uh... The next battle, the, literally the next battle, it's all level 13 cards. And I'm like, bruh. Is this real life, bro? Let's go. Balloon's dead, please. It still gets a shot off with poison archers and two towers? It's literally unstoppable, that balloon, guys. Literally unstoppable. And my, my Night Witch dies in one shot to his uh, fireball. I don't know what to do about that, guys. It's gonna be a, this is going to be difficult, bro. This is going to be difficult for sure. All right. All right, maybe it's gonna be a bit easier than I thought. We'll see. He's gonna fireball that for sure, he has to. He zaps it. Where's your fireball, my dude? He was he there? Like it destroys, he's gonna fireball something right now. The tower goes down, please. Okay, I gotta defend this lane. He can easily go balloon right lane though and destroy us because he's got free spell too. You know? The question is, where is he going? What's his game plan here? It looks like he's going left lane here. Archer's here, please. Please don't lag right now. I'm, I'm winning. Please don't lag. No, 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 no. Please no lag. Please no lag. Please no lag. Please, right now. I want to win this game. Please no lag. Please no lag game. Please no lag. I want to beat this level, uh, higher level player. Please, please game. Please. Whoa, it was so close. It was so close. I'm losing my mind over here. The lag. The lag. All right, moving along to our dear friend Apollo up top. Um, this should be an interesting battle. Why did I say that? Because he's got a freaking witch. That's why. I'm hoping he goes scar uh, zap on the right. No, no, Valkyrie, bro. Did you not listen to me? I said zap, bro. The reason I said that is because I wanted him to zap and not use the zap on anything else. If that makes sense. Go, go, bat, go. Yes. Look at the mighty bats. The might of the bats. Oh, okay. Never mind. Just destroy that uh, expo there, guys. Come on, Pekka. One shot. Nah, you're too far. You're too far and too slow. Too slow, you noob. Yo, Wizzy, bro. Do you think he's got Zap in there? If he does, I'm dead. Spawn bats, please. Spawn bats. So many freaking balloons today, guys. I don't have a whole lot of air D, so it's kind of unfortunate when we do face balloons. All right. Hopefully the bats can get some work done. Swarm up, swarm up. All right. Archers. Nice. Archers got a little bit of decent damage done right there, guys. That's some respectable damage for sure. I'm just going to go zap right here. Because I want to keep my baby D for... I just want to kind of just chill right now. Let's go pack it right here. Yo, Royal Giant Balloon deck. Is this real life? Broski? Bruh, bruh. Come on now. Poison this. Baby D here. Alright, we good. Dude, that baby D... Uh, that, uh, sorry, that uh, Royal Giant was a beast. Freaking beastie boy. That's for sure. Let's go. What you got, bro? What? 
What? What in the world is this guy's deck? Actually, this is a, a Mega Knight uh, Royal Giant Balloon deck. Bruh, bruh. Come on now. I don't think we can stop this in time, guys. We can try. Skarmie kind of comes in clutch, though. He's got Fireball in there. We haven't seen a heavier spell by him yet, so... Given that he has so many heavy cards, I don't think he does. Let's go. Nice. Good game. That was insane, man. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. GG's well played. GG's well played. I guess moving along, moving along to our dear friend Untitled. Or Untilted. One of the three. So, uh, I want to go ahead here with my Archers. Actually, we're going to go Night Witch right here. I don't like that Firecracker. She's highly annoying. Dude, what is with the freaking balloons, man? It's like this game knows I have no air D, bro. Why? Like, literally, why? This is my third balloon battle in a row. This is my third balloon battle in a row. I don't understand, Clash Riel. What did I do to deserve this fate? What did I do? <laughs> uh, do you guys ever do that? Do you guys ever go on streaks where you face, like... I don't know, the most random, not even the most random, just like... Just like annoying stuff in a row. Yeah, we can't, we don't, we don't have Zap in hand for that. And he's got freaking uh, uh, Inferno, bro. Oh, this is the fat L. I think this is gonna be a, the fattest of L's here, boys and girls. The fattest of L's is incoming right now. Yo, bro, your deck is like nearly all max, bro. You got max balloon, max dark goblin. I'm so sad. Guys, please leave an F's in chat for me, please. Please, I need an F's in chat. I think I, I'm pretty sure I'm 100% dead here. We have no chance in this, guys. No chance. What is my luck, though, dude? Like, what is my luck? He's even got Valkyrie, too, for my graveyard. That's unfortunate, man. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I I, I got no, no, no chance here, guys. Nothing. This is the fattest of counters. He's got Balloon. He's got freaking Dark Goblin. He's got Valkyrie. Firecracker, all of which destroy the graveyard. Infernal for my P.E.K.K.A. I literally think this deck was made purely to uh, counter my deck. Infernal for P.E.K.K.A. Valkyrie for graveyard. Dark Oven for graveyard. Uh, and, and just it's everything. Balloon, we got no balloon defense. Bruh, bruh. Uh, it's a sad day in history, guys. It is a sad day in history right now. What can you do? <laughs> what can you do? Ay, ay, ay. Well played, well played, dude. Well played. That was a tough one. Alrighty, boys and girls. Keeping that going next to dear friend Cornies. Cornelius. Good luck. Uh, dude, I've seen so many Valkyries. Valkyrie appears to be a very popular card. Uh, on the, uh... On the ladders. You know? It's weird. It's oddly popular, like, mid-ladder. Everybody and their uncle using Valkyrie, guys. Look at that musketeer just tear apart my P.E.K.K.A. One P.E.K.K.A. shot, please? Mm, I don't think... I, I don't know if that spell would have got one more shot or not. But I'm happy with one P.E.K.K.A. shot. I will accept one P.E.K.K.A. shot. I'm happy with it. Not happy with this Mordar, though. Kind of annoying, isn't it? Baby D. Nice. Musketeer here or Valkyrie? He's got a knight in there as well, bruh? Dude, what do you need, what do you need a knight and a, and a Valkyrie in there for? They still have the same purpose. I think a pack of here is okay. 
Should be a nice little counter push right here. He's gonna go Valkyrie behind the path. Oh, he's got Barbarians. Archers here, please. Help that Night Witch out, please. Hmm. Zap. The Zap reforces the tower. Reforces? Or just initially forces? The Zap forces the tower to retarget to my bats, keeping the packet alive. Allowing the packet to get one shot off. And we are flawless here so far. So I'm definitely okay with the result of this so far. Mr. Cornelius up top there. Gonna go Skarmy here. Night Witch here. That way that can't lock on. And then Baby D off to the corner here. He's gonna go Musketeer in the middle to snipe my Baby D. We're gonna go Archers for that. We're gonna zap her to kill her a bit faster. Then we kill the minions, getting extra value sauce. And we are still flawless here so far in this battle. Poor dude, man. Yo, game. Oh, we're lagging. Okay. Fantastic. There goes my flawless victory. If I lose this game, guys, there's a mortar. I'm panicking right now. We're, we're lagging. Something is happening. The lag today has been insane, bro. No, baby D. No, no, no. Rest in peace, the flawless streak. Guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, F's in chat for the uh, tower damage there and our uh, no longer flawless damage tower streak. But good game, Cornelius. Well played, my dear dude. Well played. Good luck in the future. Alrighty, guys. Now we are being truly tested by our dear friend Ham. Ham up top there is going to destroy us. I have a feeling... I've got a feeling that he has some higher level cards, but it could be incorrect. We shall see. Now, I did uh, ask my clan, basically. I was like, clan, what's going on here? I face level 9s, and then I face level 13s. Like, what's going on here? Because I don't play this, I don't play my account that often, this account. Just kind of like wondering, yeah, what's what's why what's the, the, the funny business going on here? And they made me aware of the fact that the crown rush is going on right now. So lots of people will play, uh, will go lower in uh, trophies to farm crowns easier as a max level. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. I get why now I'll face uh, higher level crowns or towers at uh, lower trophies is because of the uh, crown rush event going on. Makes sense, right? Those, those are some terrible archers though, eh? Those are absolutely terrible. I think he's got the deck we did a video on the other day. Or something similar. Did I not do a video yesterday on a Ram Raider deck? I'm pretty sure I did a video on this deck yesterday. With Earthquake in there. Uh, definitely not the deck I did a video on, that's for sure. He's got he's got Giant Smelly. He's got the Giant Smelly Ton. Let's go, baby. The P.E.K.K.A is basically dead to the Giant's Melee and the Wizard. So once that Giant Bomb goes off, he's taking some damage. Now here's the plan. He might try and go Ram Rider here. Let's go. Graveyard time right now. I don't care. YOLO, baby. Um, a little bit too much YOLO. Maybe... <laughs> Maybe I had a bit too much YOLO on that uh, on that cake right there, guys. Yikes, man. A little bit too much. I didn't think there was such a thing as too much YOLO, but we, we just we just witnessed it right there. That's for sure. Yo, are you, are you going Ram Rider into my pack out? I know Night Owl says Ram Rider is OP, but I don't think it's that OP, bro. Right? Yes, yeah, that's do work, please. Tower goes down, please. Thank you, Tower. Much appreciated. Skarmory down here. And there we go. Easy peasy. Baby D down here, please. So this wasn't the top battle that I thought. His card levels were actually uh, fairly low for his King Tower level. So I respect that. Good game, well played. GG's, man. GG's. Anyways, guys and girls, that is the end of the video. Did pretty well today, guys. We got over 300 trophies. 
uh, in this one trophy push and only one loss out of like 15,000 battles. Maybe not 15,000, but uh, pretty good push regardless, guys. We started down here at 45, 4580, all the way up to here at 4900 now, guys. So basically 350 trophies in one push. Definitely happy with that. Here is the deck one more time, guys. If you want to give it a try yourself, if you do, let me know how it goes for you. But that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching, and we shall see you in the next one.